Hello, I am Patrick Murphy, the founder of Agriculture Television and your host for this pitch video. Agriculture Television is all about original content specifically for the ag industry. So sit back and watch all the clips you're about to see are produced originally by Agriculture Television. Any questions you may have, look through the business plan, look through the executive summary. Give me a call, 307-631-2810, and thank you for your time today. Today, Agriculture Television is speaking with Amy Hendrickson, the Executive Director for the Wyoming Wool Growers Association. Amy, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to speak with Agriculture Television. Um, today, we'd like to have you explain or discuss a little bit who the Wyoming Wool Growers are and what the organization is all about. Okay, um, the Wyoming Wool Growers was formed in 1905 uh, for the purposes of representing the sheep industry in the state of Wyoming, but not just the sheep industry, anyone who's involved in uh, livestock, uh, but primarily our um, focus is on uh, sheep producers. Um, we're here to uh, look out for issues from uh, promotion of the industry uh, to those kinds of issues that might um, be negative to the industry as well. Patrick Murphy with Agriculture Television talking with Amanda Gear, who was the organizer for the South Dakota Rancher Relief event here at the Camp Plex in Gillette, Wyoming on November the 8th, 2013. Amanda, kind of tell us about this event and what's happening. Well, so far it's been a great turnout. We have a silent auction going on. It's going to end at 8 o'clock. We have a live auction that's going to start then. We're going to have dancing later. Everything's been, do been donated for this event, so it's been an, an amazing event. Well, like many families and people here today, uh, this next family has distinguished themselves in the agricultural industry and also in public service in Wyoming. And it's a pleasure to invite, uh, established in 1901, representing the Michael I. Ranch from Uinta County, the Michael I. family. producer, director, and producer of the Great American Weed Harvest. Conrad, thank you so much today for your time. Tell us a little about the Great American Weed Harvest. The Great American Weed Harvest is a documentary film that tells the story of the harvest that happens across the United States Plains. You know, there's millions of acres of wheat that grow from Texas to Montana, and there are custom harvest crews who, who live on the road, basically, and they travel from Texas to Montana or North Dakota harvesting the nation's wheat. And this documentary film tells their story. And the final one is Senate File 004, which is the dry bean research. Uh, again, give us an idea of what this is all about and why this is important to Wyoming agriculture. Sure. So dry bean research, uh, we've actually got a pretty robust uh, dry, uh, dry bean agriculture uh, presence within the state of Wyoming. Um, you know, granted, it's not northeast Wyoming. Uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, we don't have the right soil type for that. But uh, that doesn't, that doesn't uh, mean it's not important for the state of Wyoming. And basically what the dry bean research would do was it, it would collect fees off of these producers at the time of sale so that they could use that money, the University of Wyoming, to research the type of uh, beans to be used in the state of Wyoming, what, were, what would work best within our soil climate, uh, what works best within our uh, weather climate, and they could really benefit from that. It's much the same as the beef checkoff. It's same type of 
same type of situation, same type of program, ran on a state level. Um, normally, I'm not a, um, a big fan of, of government interaction with private business, but under this situation, it's voluntary to get into the program. If you don't want to be in the program, you can get out, and your, your money will not be taken at the point of sale. Uh, it's strictly voluntary, and I'd be pretty surprised if there's a lot of people that backed out of the program. I mean, this is good information they can get from the University of Wyoming. It's uh, really can help with agricultural agriculture production, and you might see uh, dry beans become a bigger thing in the, in the state of Wyoming. The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding an official meeting of the Gillette FFA chapter. Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations? Time to Mrs. Berlick, baby duck. Let's go. Focus. Ride. Ride.